Hi, this is Casey Stratton, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about the new album. <laughs> June is behind me, and uh, there are some... The sun is coming through some leaves outside, so... Um, it's a fairy tale look. It's a very Alice in Wonderland kind of look today. We're, we're having a, a Tim Burton... <laughs> That's not true. If I did Tim Burton, I would have painted my face all white and had little red lips, like made myself the Queen of Hearts or something. Anyway, there's a cat hair up here I have to get rid of. So, <laughs> back to the topic at hand. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the new album uh, today. Yesterday I posted on Live Journal a blog entry and then uh, proceeded to share links on Facebook and Twitter and such um, with the name of the album, which is called Myth and Stars. And uh, just like Divide, if you've ever noticed, ha is always in all caps. Um, Myth and Stars will always have an ampersand. Ooh, I like that little soap opera dream sequence that happens with the lights. With the light. Ooh, it's kind of fun. Anyway, oh, look at these bags. Anyway, it's real life. Like I said in the show, it's real life and I'm living it. Speaking of, the DVD went off to, the, to be pressed and it will be ready soon. Anyway, I'm getting way off topic. Myth and stars will always have the ampersand and not the actual word and. You can write it however you want. And um, so that's the name of the album. And then uh, if you haven't been following along, it is a double album. It is 24 songs, but it will be available separately. Um, actually, if you're going to get the CD version, it's only available separately. Unfortunately, double discs are something that it's very difficult. They're very difficult to produce if you're not doing large quantities um, for now. So uh, anyway, the subtitles of each particular record, um, it will be, there's Myth and Stars Part 1, which is called Bridges of Myth, and then um, Myth and Stars Part 2, which is called Rivers of Stars. And uh, I actually got, um, Rivers of Stars came from um, the myth of Demeter, uh, who was the one of the supreme goddesses of Greek mythology, and uh, was the mother of Persephone, and, and the mother of many, 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 many characters in Greek mythology, she was always seen to be very fertile. Um, and they would say that uh, she was so fertile that she, um, her breasts were always full of milk. So they called that the river of stars. So yes, I'm talking about breasts in, in, a, in a video blog um, and naming albums after it. But anyway, I, I heard that and I loved it. And then uh, the first, I had had the, the idea of bridges of myth in my head for a while and I wasn't sure what to do with it. So, um, and for a long time, if you've been following along at all, I, I didn't know what I was going to call the record at, uh, in the first place, and I kept saying, I want it to be something about myth and stars, but I'm not sure exactly what, um, but I wanted to communicate that because I wrote the album about mythology and also constellations and how the myths inform the constellations and blah, 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 blah. So I thought, it's right under my nose, just call the thing Myth and Stars. I like it, and um, it gives, it, it's an excellent uh, way to set up the subtitles. Anyway, um, the the thing with bridges and rivers, I really wanted to touch on things that connect, because I think that mythology is a way that society connects with itself, and I think it's a way, even at the time, but I think in the long run in history, mythology is a way that we connect as human beings, because the stories are so um, are so much a part of of uh, acknowledging and representing who we are and making life make more sense to us. So I think that there is a, a human connection that's involved. And this record really, I touched on those themes a lot about human human co connectivity. So um, I, I liked the idea that bridges connect land and rivers connect water. And uh, they're both also things that, you know, you're traveling. It's a forward motion. Rivers move forward. And um, if you're on a bridge, you're, you're traveling forward. So um, really, there's a lot of themes of that, of, of um, acknowledging situations, of moving in the appropriate directions and also just um, the myths and how they inform us. And um, I've said it a thousand times and I'll say it again, you don't have to be uh, knowledgeable in mythology to understand it. In fact, the songs are, are told in, in the modern day narrative, the narrative of me or whoever in the song. Uh, it's, a, it's a modern day telling. It's just a lot of them are, I would look at a particular myth or a particular constellation and that would give me an idea and then I would research a little bit and read into it again. Um, get more information on the myth and the stories and um, all the different ways it's been told maybe or passed down, just all sorts of things I would read about them. And then I would apply them to a modern day thing because to me that, you know, if you're a writer in any way, shape or form, you are the modern day myth makers. You are the modern day storytellers and fiction, you know, is myth. And, and um, I think even if it is technically fiction, 
it can tell um, stories of a much greater good or, or some sort of parable of whatever, microcosm of what it is to be living. Um, so to me, the myths of all cultures you know, are very interesting and important uh, anthropologically and sociologically and even psychologically, uh, I think, to us. So um, the Greek myths I really enjoy. They were, you know, the Greek civilization was the first, you know, it was the, the birthplace of democracy. It, it was pretty much the first society that functions in a similar way to how we function now. So from a Western perspective, um, I... I pulled a lot from Greek mythology. Plus, I think, you know, a lot of people see Greek mythology as like the boring thing you learn in school or something too heady or whatever, but I think it's, it's very fascinating to see how much of those myths, and of course a lot of those myths were informed by societies prior, but it's interesting to see how those myths have become such a part of our lives, whether we see it or not. I mean, if you're uh, looking at your horoscope and, and seeing your astrological birth sign and all that. That's based on, on the Greek myths and, and the constellations, of course. So, um, I don't know, I just think that there's so much a fabric of our lives that we don't see or necessarily pay attention to all the time, some of us, maybe. And uh, it was a really interesting jumping off point. So, um, that's pretty much it. I have to be careful of the time. Um, I'm going on for a while this time, but it's been a while since I've talked to y'all in any sort of great detail. Uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. I don't know. Blah, 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 blah. I lost my train of thought, which is nothing new at all. Maybe I should do this again. Oh, cat hair. <laughs> my life is perpetual cat hair. So, Myth and Stars. It will be out September 21st. The single from the first disc is a song called Hunter, and the single from the second disc is a song called Burning the Bridge, and those will be out for you to purchase uh, a few weeks before the record, probably three weeks, we'll see. I don't know. But September 21st will be the day. The DVD will be out soon. Um, it's off being printed, so hey, good times. And um, yeah, that's me. It is me. This is me. Casey Stratton signing off. Hope you're all doing well, and uh, enjoy your day, or your evening, or your morning or whatever time this is for you. Okay, bye.